Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find dy dx using what's called implicit differentiation. So to do this we'll just take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. And when we do that we're going to use the product rule. So for the product rule we'll think of this one as the first piece and then this one here as the second piece. And recall the product rule says if you have f times g and you take the derivative you can think of f as your first function and g as your second function. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. That's the product rule. Let's go ahead and, and use that on this piece here. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So here it's going to be negative 7 sine of 7x and now we have to use the chain rule so times the derivative of the inside so the inside piece is 7x so its derivative is simply 7 so this is the derivative of the first times the second so sine of 3y plus the first so simply 7 cosine 7x times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of sine is cosine. This will be cosine of 3y times the derivative of the inside. So this will just be 3. And the derivative of y with respect to x, well, that's just dy dx. Okay, and this is equal to 0 because the derivative of 2 is 0. Let's just double check our work and go through that one more time. So first we take the derivative of 7 cosine 7x. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, so we get negative sine 7x times the derivative of the inside. So this whole piece here is the derivative of the first piece times the second piece plus the first piece times the derivative of the second piece. And the derivative of sine is cosine, so we have cosine 3y times the derivative of the inside via the chain rule. And the 3 hangs out, and the derivative of y is simply dy dx. All right, let's go ahead and at least multiply these 7s. So 7 times 7 is 49. So we have negative 49 sine 7x sine 3y. And then here we have 7 times 3, so that's 21. So plus 21 cosine 7x cosine 3y, and that's equal to 0. Oh, and I forgot the all-important dy dx. It's, it's really important. That's what we're trying to find in this problem. So, so now let's go ahead and add this whole piece here to the right-hand side. So we're just going to take it over there. So we have 21 cosine 7x cosine 3y. Oh, I think we're going to get a cool answer. And this is equal to 49 7x sine 3y. Right, just taking this and adding it to the right-hand side. Oh, and I forgot again, the dy dx. <laughs> right, that piece keeps hanging out. Now we have to solve for dy dx, so we'll divide both sides by this piece here. So 21 cosine 7x cosine 3y, and then same thing over here, 21 cosine 7x, cosine, it's a lot of writing, 3y. All this cancels and we're left with a dy dx, which is really important, don't want to just magically erase it. And I mentioned we're we were going to get a cool answer, so here's what I think will happen. So 49 over 21, so uh, 7 goes into 49 uh, 7 times. And it goes into 21 three times, so we get 7 thirds. And then look at this, sine over cosine, uh, that's tangent. So we get tangent of 7x. What a fun answer. <laughs> and we get tangent of 3y. And that would be, that would be the final answer, that would be dy dx. Kind of, a, of an interesting problem. That's it.